Welcome to 5-Minute Lessons. I am Victor. In my previous video tutorials about Google Classroom, I demonstrated how teachers can create a class, add co-teachers and students, create classwork, and set up grading systems. You can find the links of the Google Classroom video tutorials below. Suppose a teacher has already created a class, uploaded materials, created two assignment classworks, and one quiz. In this video, we are going to see how students can do the basic tasks in Google Classroom. I invited four of my students to help me in showing how these tasks are performed. For joining a class, we have John to demo using his laptop. For answering and handing in an assignment, JM will demo using his mobile phone. For attaching a file and handing in a classwork, Here's Andre with his iPad. And for answering and handing in a quiz, we will be guided by Audrey using her laptop. Now let's call John to tell us how to join a class using his laptop. So for us to be able to join a class in Google Classroom, you need to follow these steps. First, is go to the Google Classroom window. Second, is ask the Google Class code from your respective subject teachers. Then click Copy. Third, is go back to the Google Classroom window, then press the plus sign to join a class. Fourth, is paste and press Join. And that is how you join a class in Google Classroom. I agree, John. That's really simple. Now let's continue. JM will tell us how to answer and turn in an assignment classwork using a mobile phone. So I am going to answer an assignment. First thing to do is open the Google Classroom app. And then click the assignment number one LPCT of ID. And then click the arrow. Click the attachment that is inserted. And you can see on the upper right corner is the box with arrow. Click that and it will redirect you to Google Docs. Google Docs is where you're going to edit to answer. So to edit, you can see on the bottom right, the pencil, so you will click it and you can start answering. So for this one, answer number one. And answer the remaining. If you're going to add photos click the plus sign and click image if it's from photos click from photos click the image that you will insert and if you're done you can see on the upper left corner the check mark click it and it will be automatically saved and if once you're done click X click the arrow Go back and then click the hand in for your work to be hand in. So once you click hand in, your instructor will be notified that you're done doing your assignment. So that's how you're going to do your assignment. That's great, JM. You were able to do your assignment just by using your phone. Now what about if I have an iPad? How can I attach a file to an assignment classwork? Here's Andre to show us how. How to attach file in assignment. First, open the Google Classroom app. Open the assignment in your classroom. Click the up arrow button. Press the Add Attachment. 
Since my work is located on my gallery, I will press Pick Photo. Select the photo that you want to attach. Wait until the file is finished exporting. Now you can turn in your assignment. Good job, Andre! Now what if a teacher has given a quiz? How does a student answer it? Here's Audrey with her laptop to tell us how. Welcome! So right now I am going to show you how to answer and hand in a quiz in Google Classroom. You can look for the quiz here at the stream page or you can go to classwork page and select the topic which you will have to take a quiz. So click the quiz material and under it click the attached file which is in Google Form. Wait for the quiz to load and appear. Okay, so read the instructions first and fill up necessary information if there is any. In this case, we only have to choose the best answer. And it also indicates here an asterisk sign, which means if that sign is visible, that question is required to answer. We can now start and remember to read the questions carefully. So the first question is, what are the three good electrical conductors? And the choices are copper gold rubber, glass air porcelain, gold silver aluminum, and copper aluminum paper. So the best answer for this question is gold silver aluminum. Just simply click the circle of your choice and you can now proceed to the next question. Just repeat the process until you finish answering all the questions. Now it's time to hand in the quiz. You can find a submit button at the lower part of the page as you can see it here. And all you need to do is click this button when you're done double checking your answers. Now, your answers have been checked and recorded. Just wait for your teacher to send you your scores. And if ever you try to check the quiz again, you can change your answers anymore because you can only respond once. And that is how you answer and hand in your quiz in Google Classroom. As simple as that, right? Thank you, Jan, JM, Andre, and Audrey for joining me today. I'm sure your fellow students learned from your easy-to-follow steps. For questions or any feedback, kindly write on the comment section below. Thank you for watching!